Hello people, XNexion here and in this video I am going to show you 6 steps you can do to improve your FPS or boost your FPS on PC games. So this is a video for those people who are struggling to get like over 60 FPS on like common games like maybe CSGO, Rocket League, um, Minecraft, anything. Just this is how to boost your FPS and performance on your PC in general. And I'm talking too fast, I'm very sorry, I'm just a fast talker. I'm trying not to that. So, there's gonna be six steps in this video. So the first step, if you watch different videos on how to boost your FPS, uh, you might have seen this. So, on, if you're on Windows 8 or Windows 10, you click this little folder, right click on this PC, go into properties, wait, I misclicked that, in properties, on the left you see four options, go into advanced system settings, go into advanced performance and I press settings, go into that and I press adjust for best performance. This, this is pretty much disabling arrows, so let's say, you see how clear the font looks on my PC or the way this little taskbar at the bottom is see through. Or the way like, it, it just kind of like lowers the graphics on your PC in general. I'm not gonna do it since I don't need to, I'm just doing this for a, a request because someone texted me on Skype. A lot of people did help to improve FPS, so just making this. So that's one way you could do it. The, se the second step is a lot of people, if, this is, if, if you're using like your mother's computer or, or like a school computer for some reason to play your games, well, look in general, a lot of people already have this program installed. It's C Cleaner or CC Cleaner or CC Leaner or whatever. It's a free program, just download it as you, it's free to see here. Just download it and just open it and press Run Cleaner. I'm not going to do it now because I already did it. And then it should just like search for like errors or for example like files your PC doesn't need and delete them and then it'll optimize your PC. And um, after that's done, go into registry. Scan for issues and it'll like scan. I don't think I, uh, I do actually. As you can see, I'll scan for like registry errors. I'm not gonna go into detail what registry is, it just it, it just fixes your registry. I'm not gonna explain what it is. I'm just gonna fix selected issues, press no, fix all, close, and there you go. Another thing is it's kind of it's kind of difficult for me to explain, but I'll try my best. So wait, let me show you. Actually, no, I don't even need to show you. As you can see, this mon my monitor at the moment is 1080p. So let's say if you, if you have a 1080p monitor and you're playing a game at 720p, it kind of lags out your PC a bit more because your your um, native resolution is higher. Or it's set to higher. It's set to be higher than your game resolution and then your PC kind of glitches out and you drop like 20 frames and yeah if you have a beefy PC like I do I don't want to be cocky like I do in most games like Rocket League you can set your um, resolution to either windowed full screen or borderless I like to set it to borderless because it just sets it automatically to the max resolution and it's just easier to work with but if you have a weaker PC like I said if your monitor is 1080p and you're playing a game at 720p just go into your settings like so, you right click on your desktop, go into display settings, go to advanced display settings and then let's say if you're playing your game at 720p, set your resolution to 720p, if you're playing at 800 by 600 set it to 800 by 600 and I, and I know this works especially for Minecraft, I remember I used to play it the whole time and my PC wasn't able to run at 1080p and you couldn't really adjust the resolution, it's kind of random, so just set it to 720p resolution and I know this helps Minecraft like a lot. I had like 30 FPS, but then I got like easily over 80. So yeah, and I didn't see a lot of people on YouTube explaining this. And I tried my best, so I'm sorry if you didn't understand. The next step is to go into Task Manager and set your priority. So how you can do a Task Manager method is you have to load into a game of your choice. So for example, I have Rocket League at ready. So you load, you load into your game of choice. Just give me a moment. 
My memories of jealousy no longer get free Cause so much bullshit your girlfriends keep telling me I'm a tour, but now my bedroom's an open door So it got me thinking, what am I trying for? When I was young, I was so very dumb Eager to please a little trick on the person Trying to get him a piece Me and my niggas is love, niggas form a note Okay, so we're in the game And now what you wanna do with the test match method Is press control on the, Okay, all these buttons should be at the very left of your keyboard So control, shift and escape And then this should come up and if you never went to the task manager, it's probably going to be small like this. So just press more details, and it should, you should have this. And now in the option of programs, this, this, all of this is your programs running, so just don't mess around with any of it. What you want to do is right-click on the game that you want to like boost that you're running already. So right-click it, and you should see go to details. Press that, and your game should be highlighted in blue over here in this details tab. Now what you want to do is right click that game for it. so in this case it's Rocket League Go to set priority and set that to high And your game should run way better Well, it doesn't really for me because it already runs decent But it should help you a lot so Hold on a second So it should help a lot and if your game still like if your game is like Still lagging like it's better but it's still derpy right click it Set priority above normal this makes it more stable in case your CPU isn't good enough to handle it high. And yeah. And do please, in the name of God, do not set it to real time. Your PC will your PC will suffer. Your PC will derp out to bits. So just trust me, don't do it. Set it to either above normal or high. Another thing you can do while we're in here is low if you're playing a game. Like, uh, like I think uh, every PC game has options, obviously, so What you want to do, like my game right now is on the highest settings you can get So what you want to do is go into the options on your game, go into your video settings or your graphics And just lower the graphics on the game, so What you want to do is just disable all like the effects, all the graphics, settings, whatever And then your FPS should improve dramatically Using fancy words there And that's another thing you could do and then just quit out the game really quick. Another thing you can do is people tell me to get Razer Game Booster. But the problem with that is if you're playing a Valve game, for example CSGO, which is like a really competitive game and Valve have this like very secure anti cheat system program banning thingy majigger. And you can literally get banned over having cheat engine running in the background over like and not even like hacking anything. Or, I remember one of my friends got banned on Team Fortress 2, which is a Valve game Because he was using Razer Game Booster And it, and it like, it did, well obviously Valve doesn't tell you the reason, it just says you've been banned But, I trust the guy, he, he didn't hack, he just had Razer Game Booster in the background So I don't really trust that program But what you could do instead, and I think, I'm not sure about Nvidia Because if you have a, no sorry If you have an Nvidia GPU or, not, or graphics card. I'm not sure if this will work. Well, it probably won't But if you have an AMD CPU or an AMD graphics card, you can get this program Pretty much you have, you have to go to Google and write in AMD Gaming Evolved go to the first link and you should have this I'll leave this in the description also And I just press download. I already have download here. I'm not gonna install it. It's really hard to install. Just open it and then download everything you can Get or whatever and then you should once you have it installed and reset your PC, it'll have you'll have um, where is it? You'll have this program here, AMD Gaming Evolved. What you want to do is open up that program, go into library, and for well, when you get it, you should have most of the games that you usually play in here. So let's say I want to play Rocket League, because I'm using that as an example. As you see, this game is not optimized for your hardware, so what you want to do is press that game and press optimize and press OK. And there you go, your game is now optimized and you also can earn like points and you can just earn like a load of stuff. Which I don't really see the point, but yeah. So that's a one way you can do it and also, one thing a lot of people on YouTube mentioned, but I'll just do it as well because in case it's your first video you're watching about how to boost your FPS. It's to update your driver drivers and what they are is for example if you have an AMD graphics card or like an Intel CPU or an NVIDIA graphics card, AMD graphics card or whatever right 
is drivers. Drivers are pretty much programs that like make the graphics card or your hardware run. And <coughs> sometimes they crash or they get outdated or just just overall are buggy. So what you want to do is go into Google and if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, what you want to do is write NVIDIA GPU drivers. And just go into the first link and it should say like product, whatever product you have. So most likely GeForce and let's say like, no wait, let's say like, I don't know, like, just select your graphics card or whatever you have and then just press search and then, yeah. Or if you don't know what graphics card you have, just press the program I did. Or press graphics driver, sorry for um, my modern. Press graphics drivers and it should detect it automatically. But I have an AMD graphics card so it won't pick up. But if you have an AMD graphics card, what you want to do is write in just AMD drivers. And click the first link and just X cookie thing. And AMD have it's called it's just called Crimson because every everything has its own name. So do you want to do scroll down and it should see automatically detect and install your driver. Just press download now and it should download this program. Open and it should detect your CPU, your GPU, and it should download automatically the drivers it needs. So that's pretty much it. And that should if you if you did all these steps correctly in this video. Your FPS should boost by at least 30 FPS, I mean like yeah. And if you want more steps, comment below and I'll help you. But or if you didn't understand something I said in the video, comment below because sometimes I manage just to mutter so much. So yeah. If this helps you just make sure to leave a like because literally this video took me 50 attempts. I'm very happy to get it done and over with. And yeah, maybe subscribe. And thanks for watching. Peace.